60% of Africa's over 1 billion people are under the age of 25, making it the youngest population in the world. Many of these young people are expected to take on critical leadership roles as their countries work to achieve a middle-income status, an ambitious goal found in the development targets of many of the countries in sub-Saharan Africa. But as they await their turn to be future policy makers in their countries, many are already spearheading initiatives to tackle some of the issues holding back their continent. Issues such as education, climate change, and many others. Earlier this year, a number of young students from across Africa converged in Washington, D.C., under the auspices of the Pan-African Youth Leadership Program. And the program is run by the U.S. Department of State, and it's implemented by Meridian International, a global leadership organization based here in Washington, D.C. Aside from learning about leadership development and civic engagement, the students presented a project focusing on an issue that they want to tackle once they return to their countries. The, the main issue is about the mindset. Um, some Mauritian people are old school dish so they are not very aware of the real consequence of throwing even one plastic cup. Hi, I'm Hasna from Mauritius. Hasna is one of the over 120 high school students participating in the three-week academic and cultural exchange program. Hasna is well aware of the dangers that littering poses to the pristine beaches in our city and how that affects the tourism industry in our country. She plans to mobilize her fellow youth via social media to start a cleanup effort of their local waterfront areas. The tourism industry is the main industry in Mauritius. We have a lot of tourists who come to Mauritius every year. But the thing is, the beaches are polluted. And it is getting worse year after year. So our project is about cleaning the beaches in Mauritius, picking up the trash, setting up dust bins all around the island. And this is a first project that we are planning to develop in the future, hopefully. And we are trying to create a community uh, by using social media to hopefully gather some volunteers so that we can um, develop this project and go towards maybe cleaning some rivers or even cities in Mauritius so that we can sensitize people more about what pollution can really do to the environment. Even though many of them are focusing on issues that are unique to their communities, it is clear that they recognize and agree on areas of shared concern. Many acknowledge that one of the most critical issues for their generation is access to education. Sharing the same concern is Namitela Bridget from Uganda, a country where half of the population are women, many leading in all aspects of life in the country, including its politics. In Uganda, you have the highest rate of girls dropping out of school in East Africa, and you have the highest rate of teenage pregnancy in the world. So we thought that this would be a wonderful project to address. I believe that every day we're joining a very competitive world, and if we leave a number of people marginalized, this is not helping us at all because the, the women have the highest population in Uganda so if at all they, cap, they have the highest population and we educate a few of them I believe it's not helping us at all and the few women that we have educated in Uganda have really produced a great job to the country. Statistics show a high rate of school dropout among girls many as they reach high school age one of the reasons for the dropout, according to Valentin Kasoma from Namibia, is the lack of access to sanitary products for millions of girls across the continent. We mostly are focusing on the girls that um, are being absent at all times and having poor academic performance because of skipping school and um, being embarrassed to go back to school because of the lack of sanitary wear and because they use other materials other than proper padding. We are finding ways and trying to host activities in our communities so that we can raise funds to buy a sanitary way for them and then um, give those disadvantaged girls. Amani Adam Moshi is focusing his project on addressing the same issue in his hometown of Kinondoni by setting up vending machines in local high schools. We are going to address this, pro this problem by uh, locating emergency pads in schools starting with Kinondoni municipality, Tanzania, uh, 
many government schools have got girls or students who are facing this problem and we are going to start with 10 schools in, in schools in that municipality a student will be able to put 200 tanzanian shilling it's just a coin 200 it is less varied so it is so cheap she will be able to get a piece of bed and those machines will be located in each and every toilet of uh, government and community schools in Kimnoni municipality. Musingo Masi attends a high school in the suburbs of Kampala. She says that thousands of young girls in her country are not able to complete their education and as a result they are unable to participate fully in the political, social and economic development of their communities. I have seen what educated women can do for our country. Especially, if you asked me the greatest people in our nation, I don't know, maybe because I'm a girl, but it's female names which pop up in my mind. Uh, we have the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, the CEO of Kampala Capital City Association, uh, Jennifer Musisi. They have done amazing things for our country, and I believe more girls can do this. People just don't see it because of the stereotype they they, they have that girls cannot go to school, they should stay at home mm. and get married, take care of children. I believe that we can do better than that. From observing and listening to some of the innovative projects presented by this year's cohort of the Pan-African Youth Leadership Program, it is clear that Africa's youth are way ahead in contributing ideas and actions that are helping drive social progress in their communities. The Africa that I want is... Uh, an Africa full of confident people, of people who believe in themselves and who don't believe what other people tell them. It's not because uh, that you are from Africa that you are not capable of doing stuff that other people can do. So believe in yourself, believe in your potential, and you can do anything as long as you put your mind to it. And for Voice of America, I'm Jackson Bungani.